We are practicing with masks. So the project we're going to do today is we're going to make a jellyfish light bulb. We're going to make a light bulb looks like the element is the jellyfish that's actually emulating the light here. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a new document. We're going to create a document and we are going to make, make sure we are in inches here and we are going to make a three inch by five inch portrait mode. Gonna make this 300 DPI pixels per inch, RGB colors fine. Make sure our background is white. And then we'll go ahead and create that. All right, we're gonna need a couple files for this. We need jellyfish light bulb and we need the light bulb from uh, Schoology. So once you have those two files downloaded, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and get our magic wand or auto selection tool here rather. And we're gonna select this light bulb. So we are gonna go in here just one layer, so we're already on the right layer. And we're gonna go in here and just auto select this guy and does a perfect job right off the bat here, okay? So we got a little bit down there, we got that bit there, okay? Once we have that, gonna copy, Command C. We're gonna go to our new document, Command V to paste, just paste that guy right in there. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the jellyfish here. We need to select our jellyfish, do the same thing. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to take our rectangle selection tool here. And we are going to just take a big old square here. Doesn't really matter. Just get a good old good piece here. Doesn't have to all of it, but most of it. So we're going to do again, command C, go to our new document, hit command V. Okay. Now we are going to zoom way out here because we need to resize our jellyfish. Obviously, she is much bigger file. So we're going to go and resize her in about like that. Okay. Now, once we got that, hit the check mark, hit return command zero to get back up to full view here. All right, now let's do some organization here. We're going to go to jellyfish layer and we're going to type J L L E jellyfish. We're going to go to the light bulb layer and let's go ahead and light bulb name that. Hit return so we're organized. Now, we're going to, go ahead and take our light bulb layer and we're going to drag it up to the top. So we got the light bulb and top here. We're going to take the opacity because I need to see through this light bulb so that I can position it perfectly here, okay? So I'm going to go to the light bulb layer and I am going to take the opacity to about 50%. This again is just so I can see through so I can position my jellyfish. Now I'm going to go back to the jellyfish layer here with my move tool. I'm just going to get my jellyfish layer here and we're going to move the jellyfish and resize it so I'm happy with it's placement right in the center of my light bulb here. Let's make her a little smaller. About like that. The tentacle is kind of going down into the screw part a little bit. Once I resize and move it to where I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and push return. I'm going to go back up here to the light bulb layer, and I'm going to take that opacity back up to 100%. All right. Now, I need to get rid of the extra blue in the back of the jellyfish layer. So I'm going to do that by selecting one more time my light bulb layer here. Select my light bulb. Now that I have the perfect selection light bulb, I'm going to go up and I'm going to invert that. Go select and I'm going to go invert. Okay, now I have all the negative area. Now I can just click on the jellyfish. Hit delete. That goes away. Hit command D to deselect. And we're all ready to start with our mask. Okay, so when I turn off my light bulb, I have this. Now I want this to show through my light bulb. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a mask on the light bulb. So I'm gonna to go to the light bulb. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, make sure I have that layer selected. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna select this little icon, looks like a little uh, circle with a square around it and it says add layer mask. And as soon as I do that, right up here, it'll add a new layer mask, okay? Now this is how a layer mask works. Layer mask reacts to black and white here. So if I get black and I get a brush and I start scribbling in here on that layer mask, it reveals what's underneath, which is our jellyfish. If I go in here with white 
and scribble, it'll cover it back up. It only reacts to black and white. So if I get a 50% gray, it'll only reveal 50%. If I get 100% white, it'll completely cover it up. If I get 100% black, it'll completely reveal it and so on. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to get a nice soft brush because you want to have the glow of that jellyfish coming through here. So let's get our brush tool here. We're going to go and we are going to get our brushes. Your general brushes right here is where I'm at. I'm going to get the soft round brush, harden this all the way down. And I want this to be a pretty good size here, not too big. About like that, good. I'm going to say 150, a little bit bigger here. About like that, okay? Make sure your opacity and your flow are up to 100%. We are going to take black as our foreground color, and we're going to paint black on here, and we are going to paint this in. So it looks like the jellyfish is inside of the light bulb. I want to get close to the edge, but I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. I'm gonna keep going until I'm happy with my image. I'm gonna go and I need to paint out the element here of the light bulb. So I'm gonna go over my edge just a little bit here. And if you go into the screw part, don't worry, we can correct it, remember. Okay, once you're happy with that, now I'm going to cover this white, this area on the screw back up by switching to white. Black reveals, white conceals. We're gonna zoom in here. We're going to make our brush much smaller here because I'm just going to paint this. Again, I have white as the foreground color. And I am going to hold down shift because I'm going to paint a straight line right across. Command Z. I'm going to have to harden up my brush here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just go get the hard round brush here. And I'm going to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, there we go. That's where I want to be. By holding down shift, you'll see that I can paint a straight line and anything I have. If I need to get a little detailed here, I can get this so that I have the perfect straight line and that screw is completely back on. Command zero, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're done with the mask. We have our light bulb shown through. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a background behind this because we want to have a light bulb showing some glow here. So we're gonna to go to the background and we are going to make a gradient. We're gonna grab the gradient tool, which is underneath of your paint bucket if it's not visible. So we're gonna grab the gradient tool. We need to set a front and a back color. Our front color, let's go to a nice kind of a aquamarine color here fairly bright. I'm going to go OK. And we're going to go from top to bottom. Gradient tool, if you haven't used it, you just stretch over the area that you want to have your gradient. And then release. And it puts your gradient in. All automatic like that. Perfect. Now we have a gradient. Now we're going to add a glow behind here. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to use a little bit of the color that's in my Jellyfish, I'm gonna hold down the option key after I get my brush tool. I'm gonna to select one of these nice kind of bluey purples here that we're gonna use for our glow color. We're gonna go up to our brush options again. We're gonna get that soft round brush again and we want a fairly big. Again, hardness is all the way down, pretty big here. I'm on my background layer. Now I'm gonna go in here and I am just going to paint a nice glow around there on the outside of the bulb so it gives us a little bit of glow here. I'm going to go a little brighter here. Just keep touching it softly until you have a nice glow when you look at it. Now, the last thing we're going to do, we're going to add a highlight to our light bulb over top of our jellyfish to kind of put it inside of there. So we're going to go down here. We're going to add one more layer. 
We're going to go up here. We're going to call that highlight. Turn. We're going to get our brush again. We're going to go to a hard round. We're all the way hard. We're going to take the softness down just a little bit. We're going to make it much smaller, about like that. We're going to get not that color. We're going to go completely white for our reflection, our highlight here. And we're just going to add a nice highlight on the top there like that. Okay. Then when we're done, we have a nice light bulb jellyfish image.